Hi, GP. I'm doing a video reading for you, and I've never done that for you in this format, so I want to try it. But first, I have Quinlan here, and she is the goddess of love and compassion, but she teaches it to humans in its purest form. So you, she is a Bodhavista, and she is very well known. And you can call on her, and she will come and assist you. I don't know why my computer is doing that. She wants to, three times she did that. She wanted to, to send you a little message. Okay, now, GB asked me a really, really, really great question. And I like the way you phrased it. I'm not going to say GB, just in case that this video does end up being live or whatever. It's supposed to be sent to you in private, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, off the top of my head, I definitely got that there's a partner for you. And I'm going to tell you before I pull the cards, what I got for you was that you need to expand your reach. And it's the issue is that you keep accepting that you're just going to be content without a partner like you kind of say oh this is nice i can do this but deep in your heart you want one i know that so the cards told me expand your reach and unfortunately it doesn't sound very romantic but to let me see if I can turn this camera around. Let me see, do I have the technology? <laughs> so you can look at me rather than the butterfly, but I guess I guess you're not meant to look at me. Um, I know we have the technology. I can turn this around somehow to face me. But like what I want to say to you is that like you can't be wishy-washy because I feel like you really get content with being single. You get in a point where you say, okay, I'll just settle for this. But the, the universe wants you to be more aggressive. And I, when I say expand your reach, I feel like there's somebody on the computer and he's in America. So I don't know why I get something very so specific for you. Let me see what the cards say about that. I want to go to where you phrased your question. Uh, well, the part of what I, what I what's sticking out for me, I'm generally fine with this, but the universe says it's great to be fine, but not to be wishy-washy. Whether the same or different path. Is, so you want a specific type of man, and I get in America, and, and I actually see, like, s somebody who's in, living in an area where it's known for its awakened people, so, like, Arizona, or something like that, like, I think there's groups, oh my goodness, look what you got, you get the stag card. <laughs> I love it, I love this, and you get the one one. You get the nine of hearts, which is the nine of cups in the traditional tarot. And he's taking you somewhere, this stag, he's taking you somewhere. In the forest, this little fairy princess. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is so cute. He's a big, strong one. So, like, when you think of fairies, what's your wish? So you actually said the word wish right in your your question. And this, the Nine of Cups, is the wish card. So the direction I get is for you to really... No, <laughs> do not be content to release that wish. 
and you must show the universe. You must indicate to the universe. And this blue is really popping for me. Whoa, it's intense. I'm going to ask about your man. Okay, how can he get this partner that he's looking for? Oh, and the cardinal is all about signs, but look what you got. You get the male cardinal, and you get the word passion. So it tells me it's your contentment. It's you saying to yourself, um, I can do this. I'm content with this. But you got very, you got very sexual images and you got very masculine images. And a cardinal is a bird that often comes to people as a sign. They say a sign of from people that are passed on, but I find it can be a sign for many things. But when you get the male version of it, holy cow, that scarlet red, look at it. And you got the word passion there. So, okay, what does he need to do to get this man? I'm gonna pull several cards. What does he need to do to get this man? What does he need to do to get this man? What is his instructions to get this man? To get what is his instructions to get this man? Oh, you need to be more aggressive. You need to take a strong stance and look, you got a very another very male. Uh, image <laughs> the crown the king that's not a princess crown that's a king but you also got the image of a fairy again <laughs> that's hilarious to me i think you're the fairy and the, the other partner would be the the strong dominant and you're more because you mentioned the wish okay so it's all about taking it up a notch to not just being a wish. Like you really have to tell the universe. It's telling you to be aggressive. What must he do? And that's a writer's card. Like I feel like you're meeting somebody online and I feel like he's in a different country. I really feel that it could be Colorado with the veil, like the mountain, the veil, the ski resort um what must he do to have this man you're writing you must go towards the light stronger you must with this card it says what i'm really getting all along is that you allow yourself to be content with less but these cards are telling me you need to be like almost like a job. I know it doesn't sound romantic, but you really need to give the direction to the universe that this is no longer a wish. This is something that you are going to have, okay? And there's two people, they're suffering, but they don't need to suffer. They're out in the cold and they're asking you to make a better choice. When you see fives, you have a choice. And they're asking you to make a better choice when it comes to how. So I asked, what do you need to do to have this man? And they say, turn towards the light more and stop accepting so little is what you get with this card. And like in your question you asked, you want to be cuddled, you want somebody to be cozied up to, but... These people are not cuddling and cozied up. So it says you need to stop accepting the life. And look, doesn't he even look like he has a mask on? <laughs> it's actually his beard all frozen. But they both look like they were in a mask. So it's a pretty direct, direct message for you to be more aggressive 
and change your mindset because it says you need to reach for the light even more in your own self, okay? And rely on spiritual principles a little bit more when it comes to finding your romantic partner. So the spiritual principles of writing every day, write it out, what you desire with him. Be very clear because your energy tells me wishy-washy, like you're, you're settling. But there's definitely somebody for you. Definitely. And what is blocking you is your mindset. And I don't often say that to somebody. I have to tell you, more times than not, I have to break the news to people that they're, you know, they're kind of, you know, just taking for granted that it's something that's going to happen. But your card is telling you, don't take it for granted. You can have it, but you need to take a more aggressive approach. And I, like I say, this is like writing. It's like online. Uh, and take it, use spiritual principles to attract your person. Now, I'm going to do a numerology for you, what year you're in. 7, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, you're in... A 22-4 year. So that means 4 in the tarot is also the number of the masculine. You see? Look, where's the number 4 on here? Right there. The emperor. So you're in a very auspicious year for finding your partner. Let me see. But you're going to move into that more towards the summertime of that energy. So let me see, 7, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So in numerology, you're in a number four year. So it's a very auspicious year for you. Very, 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 because number you turned into a number 22 and that boils down to a four, but we're in the year 22, which is all about the high priestess energy, you know, about using our intuition and connecting with that feminine, intuitive, watery side of ourselves. It's almost like an unleashing of the goddess energy within us. So I want to get you a card that says some advice for you. And these are your two advice cards, how to get that man. This is your numerology for this year. But I want to pull a card that says the biggest advice for you in regards that if you listen to this would lead you to your exact partner. But they're really telling you to keep focus on your awakening a lot, but it was not the primary card. The primary card was go get him, tiger, you know, with the sword. If you don't mess around, oh my God, the wishing well. It's so weird because you're the one who brought up the word wish in your question. Right? And what's that? It's like a golden mask. But you got a feminine on here and like you show up as the feminine in, in all these cards. <laughs> and your partner shows up as a very extreme masculine. Isn't that so bizarre? And you got fairies everywhere. But the wishing well tells you again that you can't be wishy-washy. You can't say, okay, I'm going to be content. Maybe it's better. I should just be alone. Oh, I can do this. Oh, there's nobody here for you. But like every card, you got like a golden light, right? So specifically, your question was, you want somebody on a spiritual path. So the cards are telling you, yes, 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 yes. 
And myself, I personally think within a two year period, but I think this year is an amazing year for you to meet your stag. Where was he? Where's your stag? <laughs> Anyways, I put those cards away. Here he is. Your stag and you had this big guy too. Wow. <laughs> so I'll just give you another look at the cards. Because you got like really masculine stuff. Really. And you're told very clearly to go for it. You need to be more aggressive. You need to take action. You need to be clearer in what you're asking for. And like I see like, you can't see them, but in the background here, there's like doves or something. This is a bird right here. These are birds, they're white, they're golden. And then like gold leaf is falling down from him. So you really, you're, you're being directed to, again, just be very, very, very clear on what you want and don't undo it. And use spiritual principles, but toward keep going towards the light. There is a man for you. Like I say, I feel like he's in America. And I feel like he's a very manly man. <laughs> yes, I do. A very manly man is what I am getting. The stag of all stags. <laughs> That's what we need right now. That's what you need right now. Put some life back into you. Never mind this settling, okay? Okay? So I want you to be more aggressive. I feel like there's something online that you can join. Okay, I'm going to ask. Is there something online that he can join? This is what I'm feeling. And it's something that you join that's like spiritual. Out of Sedona or something. That Do you end up going there? What is going on? Is he to do something online? What's that all about? Yes. This is a communication card. Usually it says page here. Yes. And you've got the golden rays of light. Yes. As a time to let you know that somebody has the room booked for 5 o'clock. Yes. All right. Okay. I just wanted to let you know. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I always say what happens in the reading is part of the reading. And so I have to go. So you were, that was it. That Your reading was cut there. And I feel the information is extremely accurate but you need to be more aggressive okay bye I hope this was helpful to you and it was great to actually do something live for you peace out and look at all the red what's that